Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Rob's Arcade. I'm your host, Rob French, aka Red5 French here in the video game realm. And it is Friday, so you know what that means. It's the 13th. Jason is coming for you. It's actually New Game Friday, and uh, this is where I kind of showcase new titles in my library. Not necessarily new releases or new games per se, but just just the new titles in my library. And this is the newest title in my library here, Resident Evil 4. Extremely cheap in the place, I think it's like seven, eight dollars or something like that. I was kind of waiting for, okay, so I used to play this game actually on GameCube. I was kind of waiting for that demo to start up and typically it's like Resident Evil 4 and there's some kind of like a uh, cutscene or something here that starts, but apparently it's not on this title. Interesting. Resident Evil okay. 4. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Maybe if I waited at that menu, it would have kicked in. I'm not sure. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders All right, occurred so, in the Earthly um, Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world. Resident Evil. Was the I think this was a, secret a title that released only on the consoles. I don't think this was an arcade release. The virus broke out oh God, in a nearby mountain. If I'm wrong, I don't think this was an arcade City. release. I think this was a console release for the PlayStation, town. like '95 or '96. Crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances. I'm wrong. Please comment. Let President me know. of the United um, States ordered a contingency plan. The sterile. I think it was uh, Chris City. Redfield and uh, Jewel affair going public. The United Valentine States Jill, Jill Valentine. Jill suspension of business decree to um, in the first Soon game, I, I played, crashed. I believe, uh, Resident Evil purposes, 1 or 2 uh, was at my friend's house on his PlayStation. I never had a PlayStation myself, so I never really played the game myself. Um, but I did get into the series through the Dreamcast. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. Oh, six years. Uh, on the Dreamcast, I had the Veronica, code name Veronica, or code Veronica, whatever it was. I received special training via a secret oh, organization boy. working under the direct control of the this president. Is back some old I was right to here. assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why <laughs> am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are on the GameCube, I had cowboy. Resident Evil uh, Zero, and I think Resident yes, Evil that's One, a way the remake. Anyway, you know what this is all about. For the reboot, my assignment is to search for. They were a lot of fun. What? But uh, by yourself? Four. I remember actually sure being a title. There weren't very many titles growing up that I followed, like the development and everything in the release, again, and actually got the game. This was did. a game like I remember following the development in the uh, magazine and was excited. I think I got it the first himself. couple of days it came out. Tell you it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. And this was, uh, I believe, noted as being like, if you don't have a GameCube, N Nintendo's always getting the backhand. Like, I mean, I'm kind of late in the PlayStation game, but I always it felt like right PlayStation gamers, Xbox guys, protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. The PD. That's the ultimate. Always kind of hate on Nintendo and uh, part in Europe. Resident Evil 4 dropped on the GameCube. There's reliable and it was a game changer. A and they said this was quoted: if you do not have a GameCube, being withheld by some Resident Evil 4 was a reason who to thought that purchase my first job would have this been a system. And I, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. Like this game was an absolute game changer. It's freezing. You've got the third-person camera angle. Quick time events. Uh, there was a lot of options that opened up once you completed the game, and I have beat this game. Sorry, it took you got so new uh, skins for your characters, which now doesn't seem like all that impressive. Like Fortnite has new skins every what 
in a few days. But back in the day, if you completed a game and you got a new skin, that was that was a, a really cool bonus. You got to play the game again, you know, with a different look. Uh, there was different modes that were unlocked. I think it was like a survival mode. Um, was it Ada? I think had like a game mode or something. The girl in the red dress. Just up ahead is the village. Mm. It's been a long time, guys. I think this game I'll dropped in like 2002. Yeah, no, 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 2005. The movie no, dropped in 2002. That was the first uh, Resident Evil right. film. Parking tickets. Good luck. Which they took a lot of liberties in those movies, but I like the uh, Resident Evil films. Those were a lot of fun. Jeez, who are these guys? Did you say something? The, uh, Shinji uh, Mikami, Mikami, Shinji Mikami. He was like the director of. Uh, Oh Leon, gosh, I, hope I you forgot can hear about me. this. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support Leon on this mission. Leon looks kind of like fucked up right Loud now. Loud and clear. Up is Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the dude. subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. I forgot so try to about behave this. Yourself, so okay? cool. <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try we to got find Leon some more S. Kennedy well. here. Oh yeah, but yeah, Good. uh, Talk Sinji. To Leon. Leon out. Become, uh... He worked on the first one. Let's try to get these controls down a little bit here. Oh, I remember this. So, actually, let me back up a little bit. You can hit these birds and actually get uh, a little bit of bonus stuff here. I think one flew away. Oh, this port is a little weird. Actually. Oh shoot, no, they, they didn't fly away. There's one right there too. Yeah, you want to hit the crows? Get some bonus stuff going on. Dual comments, I need to beat that. Got a spindle. It's gonna take a little getting used to here. I like this though. This is so cool. All right, so um, over here we have the car. Let's go talk to these guys real quick. Let's see what reloads. That's your okay. That's your map. That's your knife. So you want to hold down the bottom trigger that aims and then hit X and that will reload. You got your knife here. Alright, so bottom trigger there. I'm just get familiar. Huh. Forget your makeup or something? I feel like. Oh, no, I think you got to progress a little bit, but yeah, something bad happens to these guys. This is all, this is all coming back. This is so much fun. But yeah, this was a game changer. Like, nowadays, this third person over the shoulder camera view, like, this is kind of common, but Resident Evil had that fixed perspective where the camera just was, like, always in an awkward corner, and it was, the, the gameplay, everything was really, really difficult. Um, but then, uh, Resident Evil... Four came out, and they kind of put it in this over the you know shoulder perspective, and it really added something uh, to the gameplay here. Got this truck here, which I think is going to come into play as well. And I'm playing in my headphones right now, and uh, this is really, really creepy. I was reading something earlier about the fog mode, which now I'm looking at this, and this is something that, like, I'm sure was in the original game. But there is this cool fog element rolling through that you can see here, which adds just another layer of spookiness. <coughs> Now the zombies in this movie are, are this movie. This game aren't quite like the zombies that have been in other Resident Evil games uh, before. Uh, excuse me. 
they're a little Sir? different. The uh, zombies and all the other Resident movie or games have been more traditional. Just you know, just want to eat your flesh. These seem more like a parasite infection. And a I bit was more wondering chilling. if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. They almost kind of like. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry to have bothered you. They almost keep up with their daily activities. However, they're just a little bit <laughs> demented. Freeze! I said freeze! Go for the knees. And then go for the head. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Yeah, a lot of the, uh, like, the developers, directors, or I feel like the original Resident Evil video game played a huge Shit. role in this one as well. Which, I think... Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still <laughs> others them. surrounding the Which area. Which I think is like is, is really nice because this doesn't actually feel like any of the subject. other uh, other games. It. Like the other Resident Evil games kind of uh, follow this formula. Um, okay, X will kind of make you run here. Got some ammo up here somewhere? Yeah, there we go. Take it. Yes. Uh, like I said, the... Oh, here we go. Oh, cool. Can I shoot this guy for a few minutes? And even though this doesn't necessarily feel... <laughs> Gotta jump out the window here. Um... Even though this doesn't feel like some of the other games, um, I, th I feel like the story and all of that definitely feels very uh, much in tune with the series. If there was something I remember from the game, like you could do like a quick, well, how do you do the like the quick, quick spin around? It's like oh, there it is. Okay, hit down and X. You get the quick spin around. There we go. A lot of this is all coming back to me, guys. It's all coming back to me now. Here we go. Okay. Get that. Okay, we got some whining going on up here. And I definitely remember that aspect. Some more crows up here. This is gonna take a little getting used to. It's actually a little friendlier than the 64. No, excuse, excuse me, 64. Um, GameCube controller. But it's a lot like when I used to play. Uh, Rogue Squadron and then Battlefront. 
It's just gonna take a little getting used to. Now you're gonna want to be careful with some of these boxes because there are snakes inside. I, you know, I was like looking for something fun to do for uh, Halloween. You know, it's like the perfect time of year. Oh god, the Kyle. Oh god, the typewriter. I love the typewriter. But I feel like it's the perfect time of year for like a really spooky game. And so I just kind of like logged into the PlayStation Store. And if you are a PlayStation uh, Plus member, I recommend doing that a lot because it's always cool. Like, you know sales and all kinds of stuff going on, but this is like, what's going on with some Resident Evil right now? And, uh, Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6, I think, are only, like, 7 or 8 bucks right now. It's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna, uh, play this, beat this guy out, and then, um, yeah, that's not weird. Uh, Check out five because I feel like uh, I remember playing this, liking this game a lot. Not only because it was a cool uh, zombie Resident Evil video game, but it was like a GameCube exclusive. Like I said, everybody was always hating on Nintendo and GameCube, and this was kind of like one of those titles where it was, it was, you know, finally rewarding to have that system. Got a little pup over here, little little hurt guy. I say we just go ahead and just put him out of his misery, right? Just blow his brains right over the no, we're gonna do that. We're gonna help this guy out. It's so funny these graphics right now. These graphics back in the day for me were like just absolutely amazing. Got a little Spider-Man update going on. Might have to check that out a little bit later. Yeah, but this this was like um uh, like 11 out of 10 bonus because like I said this was a, it was a cool game but you know I, I, like I said I feel like I can't, please correct me if I'm wrong but I feel like Resident Evil was a PlayStation release like an exclusive release it came out on other things later on like PC and you know Xbox and stuff like that but I feel like this was a PlayStation title and then all of a sudden it gets to like an update and a reboot and it happens on the GameCube and it's kind of like, oh man, like, there was like, kind of like a payoff for having a GameCube. You want to go ahead and just like, knock out these, uh, little trip wires here real fast. And actually, you can actually save that one that I just blew up if you want to. There's a guy up here on the hill, and if you wait and just like do this, oh, just a little, little jittery here. What? There we go. And do that, he'll actually like come down to you, and you can get, like walk into the the trip wire. Un forastero! But I feel like I'm gonna have to definitely work on my timing here because this game is gonna get really hectic. And uh if this is the best I can do, this is gonna be bad. But yeah, then uh the when five came out, I feel like they took a lot of what Capcom kind of built on with this release and uh, really built upon 5, but then that was like a PlayStation release and you know, I kind of missed out on that and I was really jealous. I was like, you know, come on guys, like, you know, you release 4 on GameCube and then uh, you release 4 on the PlayStation but then you released five on PlayStation and didn't give us anything. There's some guys over there if you can see them on the GameCube, and I just I don't know. I felt, I felt a little jaded with that.
Like they did a bunch of uh, crossovers and reboots with the original Resident Evils, but uh, you didn't get a five. You, know? you want to watch those boxes, people? I'm telling you, they are things. Oh snap! What is this? I guess there's no sex information here. No, that bitch got up. What is that in her face? Oh, it's a pitchfork. Jeez. Oh, okay, so, like, this is new. This might be part of the PlayStation. Maybe this is what this is. So, like, in the GameCube version, there was not running blood like that. That is pretty wild. Look at that. Oh, man, that is so creepy. So, like, part of my plan, too, is to keep coming at you guys all month long with the uh, snippets of Resident Evil 4 here, just to kind of, you know, keep things spooky. Oh man, I'm almost out of ammo, this is bad. And then if you look up here, we got some guys just kind of hanging out. This is one of those things, I used to like waste ammo trying to shoot these guys. But I don't think you can really shoot them, like they just, you know, maybe if you're super good. Oh yeah, there's one more guy down here. I think this is the worst I have ever done in this game, to be honest. TBH. I don't think I've ever run out of ammo this early in, or I've been this low on health. <laughs> this is so bad. Um. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just, like, uh, wrap this up right about here uh, before I go any further. Uh, gosh, wow, this is so bad. All right, so how do you pull up the... thing with you, your... No. should have, like, a... Cache, cache, right? Maybe this thing, maybe? No, where's this? Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. How do you find, how do you pull up the thing? Alright, so there's your cache thing, whatever, your little, like, thing that holds all your supplies. How do you pull that up? I know it's not the, sh How you the up? share Bad question, Hunnigan. fucking Sorry button. to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Yeah, please. Thank you. Something. Yeah. Kicks, got that. Five 
how you pulled that up to begin with. 